Warning, some viewers might find this a bit shocking and spooky. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, welcome to 2017, the year where literally everything is trying to kill us. Today, I have found yet another group that is trying to actually kill us. This group, it's not grass this time, although there probably will be another grass video, but this is, it's not grass, it's not rocks, it's not the Nazis, but it's in fact bread. Everybody, welcome back to my YouTube. And today we're talking about bread. Now, what you're seeing here isn't actually real. It's a figment of your imagination. And this is a plot made by the communists in order to make money. I'll explain. Well now, I've got that mask off so I can actually fucking speak properly, but what I was saying pretty much, if you didn't hear me, it was, um, bread isn't actually real, it's a figment of your imagination, and you might be a bit shocked by that, but just wait, I have, um, thingies, what are they called, fucking arguments to support my claim, and by the end of this video, you will be against bread like I am, well, not really against bread, nothing can stop bread, but you know what I mean. For this one, we're going to have to go back way far in time. Back to a time of, um, of 1925 to 1952. Now, a few things happened there. That's, um, sort of the timeline where both wars had a contribution. But, um, the main thing here that we're looking at today was the Communist Party of Russia. So if you don't know what communism is, it's pretty much just a system that the government puts in place to pretty much make it so everyone has the same amount of everything. Same food, same thing. But the only problem why communist Russia didn't work is because of the greedy governments keeping all the riches for themselves and letting everyone else suffer. Fucking commie bastard. So pretty much with the bread lines is if you missed the bread lines when they were open, too fucking bad you get no food for the rest of the month. Believe it or not, before there was the bread lines, they actually used to be called the soup lines. And instead of getting bread, you got soup. Oh, how lovely. But then, the, the government, they realised that soup actually costs money, and they're losing money. I mean, you had to pay, the people had to pay for the soup, but they weren't making enough. So they decided, let's, let's invent, let's invent a fucking food type that is literally made from nothing, and we're going to sell it to everyone, so then, like, we still make money, but we're actually selling them nothing. So they invented bread. So the next week, the, the, the communists had gotten a band of scientists together to um, create a sort of um, serum that they poured into the, the Earth's water supply in order to make everyone think that bread was real. Now... This is still a problem today, and because of all those people that got infected by the virus back then, it's now every human on Earth now has that virus in them because of all the breeding and stuff. It's nothing. It can't be curable because the people who knew about it are now dead, except for me. And so now the human race is suffering and wasting thousands a year on bread. And so a few weeks later, or well, everyone came to the food lines and... Everyone was requesting bread because it was this hyped up thing they had thought of in their sleep because of the syrup. But anyway, the, the communists, they were making thousands and thousands of dollars of just selling people nothing. And everyone was loving it because everyone loves a bit of bread. But it was only until thousands and thousands of people had died of starvation or on a full stomach that they realized we actually need to start feeding these people something. So the scientists, they were dicking around in their lab for a bit thinking, hmm, what should we actually feed these people? And so, they were just like, I've got an idea, let's just throw random things into a pot and see if it fucking tastes good. So, they set out a band of scientists to look for things to find. And, um, they set a band of scientists outside, and then a few days later, they came back with a handful of wheat they had found. And they were like, here, put, put, put this uh, wheat in, it'll probably do them proper good tricks. And they're like, hmm, what else should we add? So, um... They, um, they noticed because their uh, office was a bit damp 
that um, their lab coats had started uh, growing mold on them. So they're like, hang on a minute, what mold is this? So they put it under the microscope, and it turns out to be a mold called yeast, which has never been heard of before. So they put in the yeast, and then it and then they stir it together with a bunch of other things like water, because it's common, but the water was in um, had the virus in it. But and then they also chucked in some sugar and salt and shit for good measure. And voila, they had created something from junk. They had created bread. So after this bread was created, the uh, scientists had a taste, and it tasted quite good, and it didn't kill them. So they thought, yep, let's give this to the public. They'll eat this shit up, quite literally. But then, so they sold this new and improved bread in the bread lines, and everyone loved it. And communist Russia was actually a happy place for a while. But then, uh, over time, the, um, the yeast in their office had slowly been depleted, and all the wheat and shit that in the fields, they had all slowly been depleted. So Russia had no longer got any, br got any ingredients to make bread. So they were like, fuck this, we, we need to abandon shit. And that's why communist Russia failed. And that once communist Russia failed, the, all the scientists did a mass suicide, and um, the remainder ones left, all the leaders and that, they all band together and um, were like, all right, we need to go undercover for a bit. And so they went to another country and they created they created bread factories to sell bread to millions of people because they had, with them, they would have access to hundreds and hundreds of supplies in order to make more bread and shit. So that's what they did. And because the communists had to flee, they had to go under a new name, or else everyone would know it was Communist Russia. So they went under a new name called the Bread Companies. And even today, the Bread Companies are still thriving, selling people just meaningless shit. And in today's generation, bread is just a conspiracy theory made up by the Bread Companies to sell more bread. It's pretty clever, actually. Now, this is the spooky and the scary part. So... Well, they the uh, the bread companies formerly known as the communists they had um they had made it uh, the whole world was hooked on this bread every every subculture of the world had their own take on bread like the mexicans and their tortillas and that anyway so the whole world was hooked so here's where the next part comes in which is phase 2 which is happening currently at the moment so oh you heard it here first be warned now so, the other day, I was at the shops, right, and we'd gotten all our, we'd gotten all our stuff from the super, and, um, we were packing it into the car, and we noticed this loaf of bread in, 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 the, in our things. We didn't buy it, though, because mum orders the bread in, f from other places, but it's good quality bread, it's not air, but this was just the fucking borderline shit quality bread. Anyway, so, they... This bread just appeared, and um, we had no idea what it is. So, from from what I gather, my ingeniously smart mind, I think that the bread has um, realised that the, all the all the better off brands are putting them out of business, and because they're putting them out of business, the bread companies have gotten smarter. So they've made the bread have mind control abilities, so that when people eat their bread, then they. Uh, addicted and they will keep buying their bread and not these other better off brands that are actually good for you and probably won't make you fat and speaking of that bread we did end up eating it but it was really shit but even though I ate this bread I wasn't put under the spell because I'm too smart because I watch Rick and Morty but likely the next plan which is stage three of the bread company's plan is uh, world domination, which they're going to start poisoning the bread of celebrities and people like me who are cool. And so all that's left is a bunch of DOS idiots. So my warning to you is, if your bread's looking weird, don't eat it because it's probably got the poison in it. And uh, don't eat too much bread because you'll get fat and the communists will likely take your brain over with commie juice. But um, apart from that, just be careful. I don't want you getting hurt, eating bread. Bread's quite dangerous. And if you think you're under the spell of bread, just watch a few episodes of Rick and Morty and all the effects should just go away. Um, I'm going to have to end the video here. 
seeing as um I think I think the communists are after me. There's someone at my door, and they're they're in black suits and in a black limousine. Fucking please help me! Help me! Help me!